Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how to make a simple web browser with your C-Sharp application. So let's get started. First of all, I will select a new project. And I will select Windows Form application and I will name it as Web Web browser and okay. Now in here I will take first of all I will take a tool strip here and in here I will add some component so first of all I will add uh, some buttons button 1, button 2, button 3 this is for uh, going back it, this is for going forward, this is for refresh and one more button to hit enter key and I will take now a two text box to enter the URL of your website okay so I will uh, take these things and then I will go to tool box once again and I will drag and drop a web browser from here okay and I will anchor it from the other sides also like that and then I will just resize it now in here I can set any image from uh, my computer so I will just press import and I will give images to the buttons so first is for arrow left second is for arrow right this is for going forward third is for refresh fourth is for next for example so this is the enter button right and we will take some more buttons one and two and this I will use it for stopping the web page and other I will use for going forward home yeah so this I will use for home so I am using one two three four five six buttons and one text box and in here I am going to give my URL okay so now I will write the code for that okay so first of all I will go to the this button I will place beside my so I have placed this uh, enter button at the right hand side of my text box so this is for going back this is for going forward refresh stop home and in this I will enter the URL and when I click this uh, arrow button it should be taken as the input URL and in next video I will also show you how to 
add a progress bar to this uh, web page also so first the basic code yeah, just click this enter button and double click it and in here just write your web browser name so web browser one dot navigate and in the bracket bracket closed and in the bracket just pass the name of this text box which is text box tool tool strip text box one one so pass it here dot text okay so this is the code for navigation so whatever you enter in this text box it will navigate for the web website or url which you enter in the text box and it will show now go to your go back button and double click it and in here once again web browser one dot go back bracket and bracket closed and now go forward so web browser dot go forward and now to refresh web browser dot refresh and this is to stop so double click it web browser dot stop and in next line home so just double click this home and web browser dot go home okay and by the way these pictures which i have included here you can find them anywhere on the web web so if you search for icon in the web you could be able to find these pictures and i generally take my pictures from icon archive which is this website www.iconarchive.com and in here you can find lot of pictures which you want just search for example home and just click search and you can find your pictures like it so these pictures i have taken from there and now let's try and run our program so run and i will enter some url here first of all let's make it bigger so you could be able to see and in here i will enter the url for my youtube channel so this is the url and now i press this enter button or go button so it will navigate for the web page so i press it and it's open so my youtube channel is open on the c sharp web browser okay and i can go here for example i when uh, i can navigate somewhere and now i want to go back so i will press this go back button and when i press it it goes to the previous page i have navigated and i press forward button or go forward button it goes to the next page i have surfed okay so back and forward and if i press this refresh button it refreshes the page will refresh once again 
so yes it refreshes when i press this home button the internet explorer amazon site will open i think because this c sharp is from microsoft and their default browser is internet explorer so it will go there so it's not opening any site right now and go back and when i press this stop button the connection will stop so this is your simple web browser now i think i should show how to add a progress bar to this web browser also in this video itself so let's see how can we add the progress bar to our website so just go or just go here and take a progress bar bar from here and this is the progress bar okay so what i will do is i will select this web browser here just select this web browser and go to its event and search for the progress change event this one and just double click here okay so double click it and in here write this code so first of all write a try catch block this is a progress bar name and in my case the progress bar name is tool strip progress bar okay so i will just change it go to the code this one and this one okay now it looks okay and in here i will show the message box sorry as a box dot show and i will copy this and dot message okay so just write a try catch block and in the try catch block write the name of your progress bar dot value is equal to convert dot 2 int 32 because this takes uh, int value and this here will be a string value so write convert dot 2 int 32 and just copy this uh, variable i will make it little bit bigger so you could be able to see so just copy this e variable and write it here e dot current process and then write tool strip progress bar 1 which is the progress bar name dot maximum is equal to convert dot 2 int 32 and the bracket e dot maximum progress so write this code for showing the progress of your page loading so let's try and run the program once again just make it a little bit bigger and in here once again i will enter the url of my youtube channel page so i have entered this url and i press enter this button and you see you are able to see the progress here once again somewhere else so it's showing value of minus 1 is not valid for the value so let's see what can we do for that so the simple solution for that problem could be i will just comment this message box because it's throwing unnecessary exception which i don't think will affect my code right now so once again i will open and run my program i will enter the url of my youtube channel once again and i press enter and you see the progress shows okay
and I go anywhere the progress bar is working for that see here just see this progress bar so I go back once again this was back so and now I go to this playlist just see here the progress bar is working now okay so in this way you can also use progress bar with your web browser so i hope you have uh, learned something new this time please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now